Today's caper is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. Where in the world is... San Diego by Melbourne. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He speaks Spanish, has traveled to Colombia and Ecuador, and likes football and basketball. Meet Daniel Gutierrez. He collects comics, likes basketball and bike riding, and is learning to habla espanol. Meet John Velasquez. He's traveled to Florida, has relatives in Trinidad, and is interested in paleontology. Meet Rory Gordon. And here's Acme's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Thank you very much. Woo. Oh, thank you. A lot of breath. Thank you very much, you guys. Rory, how are you? Good to see you, buddy. John, good to see you. Daniel, nice to see you guys. And hey, here they are, those stars of Fish Fry Fridays at the Uptown Grill in Utica. Rockapella! Ah. And as you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get started. Chief, who are we after? This is Contessa. Contessa. She loves robbery and snobbery, won't tolerate slobbery. Her last known whereabouts, Himeji, Japan. Himeji Town isn't a top tourist spot in Japan, but it is known for one big attraction, Himeji Castle. It was built as a small fort in the 1300s, then greatly enlarged about two centuries later. A feudal lord wanted the fort so big and sturdy, there'd be no way enemies could get in. Well. His plan must have worked. Himeji Castle became one of Japan's finest medieval fortresses, and it's still in good shape today. Picnickers and tourists alike find it a nice spot to spend some time. Or they did until today. When Contessa, whose blood goes a boil at anything royal, decided to cop the castle by controlling a crafty kite. She worked a winch, and the pinch was a cinch. Come choose. You've got to track down that aristocratic <laughs> fanatic and solve today's case. <laughs> Medieval evil. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, turn to my Contessa and the castle. We're going to help with... <laughs> We're going to help you do that by starting you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks, and the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. So, let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us. Me Radio Net, more Voices. hits, more music. Uh, hit me. Hi, everybody, Groove and Greg Lee here with the latest and the greatest. But first, here's something for all you gumshoes. Contessa split to a West Coast Peninsula on Great Britain. Groove and Greg's going to tell you about an old tradition there called I Stethvud. I yes. Stethvud. Yes, listeners, that's right, I Stethvud. Cultural festivals where people compete for prizes in poetry readings, dramas, and music from choral singing to brass bands. And if Groove and Greg Lee was there, he'd be hoping for an appearance by his favorite native, Mr. Tom Jones. Hit it, man. It's not unusual to go out. That's right, I'm available for weddings, but hey, this isn't a wedding. We gotta do some stuff here. So, Gumshoes, name the location, if you would please. Is it Northern Ireland, Wales, or England? Remember the clues that we heard? Peninsula on western part of Great Britain. Festival's called I Stethford. And the fabulous Tom Jones is a native of this place. Come up with an answer as quick as you can while I fix my collar. Once you have your answer, hold it up there nice and high. Do I look okay? Good. Great, okay. Rory's ready. John and Daniel are still thinking about it. <laughs> They're on another show. You guys ready to go? Okay, Rory, we'll start with you. What do you say? Wales. Wales. John, what do you think? Wales. Wales. Daniel. England. England, the answer we're looking for is Wales. Nice job, Rory and John. So that means Rory goes up to 60, so does John. Daniel is still in this thing with 50 Acme Crime Books. Nothing to worry about for our next clue. Let's get all wrapped up with Bite and Scratch, fellas. A country in Southwest Africa. It's where you're going to find Snooty Contessa. Near a space out rock called the 
meteorite. See him fall from the sky into the dark of night. The one right here is weighing 66 tons. Smaller they found, but no bigger ones. On the Atlantic, hey, I don't lie. Gotta crib that loot and say goodbye. Scott Leonard on the dance team. <laughs> okay, guys, name the country where Contessa took the castle. Is it Botswana? Namibia or Cameroon. Remember the clues that we heard. Southwest African country, largest meteorite found, and on Atlantic coast. Once you're ready, hold up there nice and high. Everybody's ready. Rory, what do you say? Namibia. Namibia. John. Namibia. Say. Namibia. Go ahead. Namibia. Namibia. Yeah, very good. Okay, Daniel, what do you say, buddy? I just picked Namibia. Same thing. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Namibia. Thank you. And as a reminder to all of you playing at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, fellas. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we put together a little something. Oh, my goodness, that sounds really spooky. Hold on a second. Let me, let me go check in the alley. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's the word on the street? Greg, the word is kinsalu oliaku. That means yogurt in the country in the Balkan Peninsula where yogurt may have been invented. I taste mm, Lactobacillus vulgaricus, a bacteria that helps turn milk into yogurt. I smell fine perfume made from rose oil from this nation's Valley of the Roses. Can I see a country where people nod their heads for no and shake their heads? Yes, yes, yes. we see it too. And I hear tourists at resorts along the Black Sea. And wait, wait! What? What? I hear a riddle, Greg. If you throw a white stone into the Black Sea, what will it become? Uh, gray. No. Wet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, see if, see if I ever play crystal ball with you guys again. <laughs> Just remember, guys, if you'd like to be the game show host of your own game show someday, you've got to be able to read fast and be the butt of stupid jokes. Uh, name the country, if you will, please, guys. Is it Bulgaria, Lithuania, or Greece? Remember the clues that we heard? Balkan Peninsula on the Black Sea and where yogurt may have been invented. Daniel must know this one because he's ready already. So is John. Rory's still thinking about it. Now he's ready. Rory, buddy, what do you say? Greece. Greece. What do you think, John? Greece. Greece. Daniel. Bulgaria. Bulgaria. The answer we're looking for is Bulgaria. Nice job, Daniel. So, Rory has 70, John 70, Daniel 70. We got a tie game going here, folks. What better time than to have the lightning round? Hit me. Okay, guys, uh, all these questions are about contestants most recent and about, which is Bulgaria. Give you five crime every time you answer a question correctly. So, hands in the buzzers, listen carefully. Here we go. The uh, Maliva sisters from Bulgaria have achieved international fame. Are they famous for playing tennis, poker, or possum? John. Tennis. Tennis is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Take a look at this sign. Everybody see this? Got a side of this? There you go. You got it? Okay. The alphabet used in Bulgaria is different from ours. In fact, the word town should look like this. What alphabet is this? Egyptian. John. Greece. Uh, Greece? No, that's not it. I'll finish it up for Rory and Daniel. Is it Egyptian, Cyrillic, or Rory? Cyrillic? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Good job, Rory. Here's the last question. For centuries, members of this ethnic group have lived in Bulgaria. Today, they make up 8% of the population. Are they Vikings, Inuits, or Gypsies? Rory? Gypsies? Is right. Nice job. Five for you, buddy. So that means Rory has 80, John 75, and Daniel 70 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. Okay, now, now is usually the time the chief calls me into her office, but she hasn't done it. So I tell you what, I'm just, I'm getting a little hungry. So let me just go get a little quick snack. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Be right back. Hey, chief. Chief. Wait a minute, what is this? I'll tell you whatever this is, it smells quite good. Matter of fact, I think there's food in here, and I do not think the chief would mind if I had myself a little taste. Oh, great. Oh, there you are, Greg. Hi, Chief. Hi. Um, I, I hope you don't mind. I was just getting a little taste. Uh, oh, no. Have as much as you want. <laughs> that's a lot. You sure you're not hungry? I mean, this is delicious stuff. Oh, no. That food's not for me. Really? Who's it for? 
It's for my dog. Food for your dog? Uh-huh. It's for my dog food for my new little puppy. Mm. Really? Food was actually quite good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Maybe this is a good mm. time to show today's contest oh. winners. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners. And if you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. And when you collected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send each of them a Carmen T-shirt. <laughs> Greg, stop it! What? Oh, you're eating dog food for crying out loud! Uh, Chief, come on. Do you really think I would eat dog food for a gag? Come on! <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Yeah. It's probably just refried beans, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's not real. I mean, he, he wouldn't eat dog food, would he? No, he would. <laughs> Phone tap. Acme's on your trail. Cool off in a Mediterranean sea until the heat's off. Carmen, darling, I thought the Mediterranean Sea was a sea. Well, it is, but there's another sea in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Head west of the Italian mainland and lay low on Stromboli. Spimoni! Oh, I have to lay low in ice cream? Oh, this sounds like a job for Pop Grunge. I said Stromboli. It's a volcanic island in this sea. Villagers are lucky the volcano doesn't explode often, but it's usually drooling a bit. Drooling? Oh, now I am sure you should send that slob grunge. No, it's still good. Burns says my hair is okay. Burns our hair person. Okay, uh, guys, name the sea, if you would, please. Is it Black Sea, Adriatic Sea, or Tyrrhenian Sea? Remember the clues that we heard in Mediterranean, west of mainland Italy, and island of Stromboli. Come up with an answer as close as you can. Roy's ready, so is John, so is Daniel. Roy, what do you say? Adriatic. Adriatic Sea. John? Tyrrhenian. Uh, Tyrrhenian Sea. Daniel? Okay, Tyrrhenian. Same thing. The answer we're looking for is Tyrrhenian Sea. Nice job, everybody. So that means Rory goes up to 80 crime bucks, John has 85, Daniel 80 Acme crime bucks. Nice job, everybody. Okay, for our next clue, a little... Over, mm -hmm. over, that tune sounds very familiar. Let me just check this out. Hold on. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, Greg. Hate to interrupt you, but you know, I was in there, heard the tune, and all of a sudden I thought, could this be a clue? Greg, yes. you are the master of deduction. Yes, you are. Well, Contessa's in a state just east of Mississippi. Yes. It's that place where that fabulous country star, Hank Williams, was born. You know, I knew Hank way back when. I heard that. We had supper together. Yes. <laughs> you know, and he used to write great tunes like... Your cheating heart. Oh, yeah. And then there was always... Mm. I'm so lonesome I could cry. <sighs> and who could forget... <sighs> Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Hey, how's about cooking something up with me? Great Lee. I tell you, nothing like a good cowboy song in the middle of the day, huh? Besides that, I didn't even know that uh, Scott had that accent. Very interesting. Okay, guys, name the state, if you will, please. Is it Arkansas, Alabama, or Louisiana? The clues that we heard just east of Mississippi and birthplace of country singer Hank Williams. Which, by the way, Scotty, very nice imitation of uh, Hank Williams. Well, thank you, Greg. Very good, even now. Okay, everybody's ready. Rory, what do you say, buddy? I said Arkansas. Arkansas. John. Louisiana. Louisiana. Daniel. I said Alabama. Alabama. The answer we're looking for is Alabama. Nice job, Daniel. <laughs> So that means at this time, Rory has 80, John has 85, Daniel, you go up to 90 Acme Grime Bucks. You know what it's time for now? The Chase. Ooh, the Chase. All of these are with five Acme Grime Bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Number one, Contessa traveled first class to Russia's capital. Name it. Daniel. Moscow? Yes. She carted the castle due south over the Russian border into what country? Daniel. Ukraine? Yes. 
Contessa charted the Concord to Siberia. What mountains? Daniel. The Ural Mountains? Yes. Next, she plunged the castle into the largest lake in Russia. Rory. Baikal? Yes. Uh, Contessa checked into the capital city of uh, Daniel. Kazakhstan. Is right. That means at the end of that round, Rory has 85, John 85, Daniel 110. Acme crime. A big round of applause, guys. Good job. How'd you know those? It's very good. Nice job. Okay, guys, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Contessa is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> All right, everybody's ready for our last and final clue. We go to Water Cronkite of the Water Channel. Water. Hi, everybody. Water Cronkite here for the Water Channel. Head for a Southern California city on a bay. <laughs> I just love cities on the water. Water comes in mighty handy if you're home to a big naval base. <laughs> Or have an institute for ocean studies. And you've got to have water to host the America's Cup yacht races. <clears throat> Don't miss tonight's Water Channel movie, The Poseidon Adventure. <clears throat> tonight's Water Channel forecast, wet. Very wet. This is Water Cronkite for the Water Channel saying, back to you. You know, I don't ever want to hear anybody say that we don't do a classy show around here. Okay? Come choose name the city, if you will, please. Is it Pasadena, San Diego, or San Francisco? Remember the clues that we heard? Southern California city on a bay, big naval base, and one of the largest sandcastle competitions in the world. This is the final clue of this round, so put those answers down there when you're ready. Looks like everybody is ready. So, Rory, we're going to start with you. You have 85 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 Crime Bucks. What'd you say, buddy? I said San Diego. San Diego is right. Nice job, Rory. <laughs> Takes up to 115. John, you have 85 Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. Uh, what'd you say, buddy? San Francisco. San Francisco is not right. You're going to go down 30. This thing isn't oh. over with yet. It's not over yet. Hold on. Z uh, Daniel, you have 110. How much did you risk? 30. 30 crime books. You don't look happy. I can't tell exactly. I, I, just tell us what you said. I got San Francisco. San Francisco is not right. You're going to go down 30 at me, crime books. That means, though, Rory and Daniel, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Man. John, it was a close game. You did some great stuff for us. We've got some great stuff for you. Cheap. Organization. That's the key to gumshoe success. And I know you'll succeed on your next case because I'm giving you Acme's best organizational tool, the Acme Travel Pack. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. It's our secret weapon in the fight against Carmen and her gang, right? Right. Well, sorta. Sorta, sorta. I'm not paying you to say sorta with Greg. Thanks, Chief, we got it. Okay, guys, ready to go to San Diego, California? Catch, Greg, yeah. you please take that jacket to the cleaners? That ketchup stain's been on there since last season. Okay, okay. Ready to go. San Diego. You got the hat, you got the door. I got the chief. We're going to San Diego to catch. Carmen San Diego. Wait for me. Wow, Chief, these horses gallop so smoothly. Yeah, it's like their hooves never touch the ground. Okay, guys, here we are in San Diego, California. You know your positions, so do I, so does the chief. Listen carefully. Oh, <laughs> here we go. All right, gumshoes. There are 15 places here in San Diego where you might find Contessa, the Warrant, or the Himeji Castle. Let's look at a few of them. First up, San Diego Harbor and Skyline. Lots of watery fun in this oceanside city. Like one of the biggest sand castle competitions in the world. Next, sniff around SeaWorld, where something always smells a bit fishy. 
be sure to debrief our Shamu net agent. He's the third killer whale from the left. Amazing costume, huh? Finally, visit Balboa Park's Botanical Center, where they cultivate plants and trees. Darn shame they had to build the place twice, but the first one came out upside down, so they tried again. But there are no do-overs in this mission, gumshoes. Capture her royal, heinous Contessa, then hop Himeji Castle back to Japan. Thank you, Chief. Okay, guys, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. There's no other way to do it. Rory, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Presidio Park. Presidio Park. Nothing there. We're on our way. Daniel. Sunset Cliffs. Sunset Cliffs. Nothing there. Rory. California Surf Museum. California Surf Museum. Cool, dude. <laughs> Nothing there. Turn it around. Daniel, your turn. Fleet Space Theater. Fleet Space Theater. Cop Castle. Nice job. You got the loot. Get a free turn. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, gas lamp quarter. Gas lamp quarter. <coughs> Nothing there but to found the loot. Nice job, buddy. We turn back around. Rory, your turn. Fleet Space Center. Fleet Space Center. Finagle Fortress. Go ahead, Rory. Horton Plaza. I'm sorry, which one? Horton Plaza. Uh, Horton Plaza. Scott shop here. Did you really? Yes. Was it nice? Yes. Excellent. We turn them back around. Daniel, go ahead. Fleet Space Theater. <laughs> Fleet Space Theater. Samurai Sayonara. Go ahead, Daniel. Sea World. Sea World. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Rory, your turn. Fleet Space Center. Fleet Space uh, th Theater. Feudal Foolery. Go ahead, Rory. Farmer's Bazaar. Farmer's Bazaar. Mm. Well, that was excellent. We turn it back around. Daniel, your turn. Fleet Space Theater. Fleet Space Theater. Asian Mishap. Go ahead, Daniel. Co Coronado Beach. Coronado Beach. The Warrant. You, sir, have the loot and the warrant. You need just one more. Can you find Contessa? Harbor Hopper? Is uh, Contessa at Harbor Hopper? Whoa. No, I'm sorry, but you did find the warrant and the loot. Nice job. We turn these back around. Rory, your turn. Fleet Space Center. Fleet Space Theater. Japanese Jeopardy. Go ahead, Rory. Coronado Beach. Coronado Beach. The warrant. The loot and the warrant. Can you find Contessa? San Diego Zoo. Is Contessa at the San Diego Zoo? Yeah, yeah buddy. Good you job, won. buddy. Go ahead and put him there. Come on, that's it. Nice job, Rory. Stay right there. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, fantastic work. Great detective ning. Detective ning? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you say? Top break. But Acme rules never been. Only one gumshoe can capture Carmen San Diego. Fortunately, Rule 43D states that every gumshoe gets this terrific Acme travel pack. And I've just signed an authorization for you to receive this world band radio and guidebook to frequencies around the world. Now you can listen to news, sports, music, just about anything you want to hear from anywhere in the world. For your work on this case, I salute you. Nice job, Rory. Now here is your portfolio souffle a la frog inside a piece of paper and a pen. What you need to do is write down where you like to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego, he knows what I'm doing here. Victor, the music. Oh, excellent. Great choice. Great choice. Now all we need is a phone call. There it is. Hello. I'm sorry, I have another call. Is this... Hello? Yeah, he's right here. Hello? Prison life is so uncivilized. 600 cells and not a room service menu in sight. Tell Carmen this is more than I can bear. She went to Europe. Okay, Rory, you and I are to Carmen San Diego. Look right over there. See that right there? Chief, what do you have? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Portugal. Spain. Switzerland, Belgium, Denmark, North Sea, Finland, Estonia, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Croatia, Romania, Greece. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what to do, right? 45 seconds gives you the trip. And remember, if you're looking for a body of water, you look for this thing right here, the bright red arrow. Okay? Ready to do this thing? You guys cheer them on. Good luck to you. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. There it is. On your mark. Get set. 
Go. Come to Bucharest, Romania. Romania. Go, buddy. It's Romania. Try it again. Try it again. Romania. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who's Denmark? Denmark. Denmark. Go, buddy. Yeah. Geneva, Switzerland. Switzerland. Pour it on now. Switzerland. Pour it on, buddy. Try it again. Try it again. Switzerland. Come on back. Come on back. Lisbon, Portugal. Portugal. Let's go now. Let's go. Come on, baby. Yeah. All right. Estonia, Estonia, Ruva, Estonia. Yeah. North Sea, North Sea, pour it on, man. Yeah. Helsinki, Finland, Finland, go, buddy, go, Finland. Yeah. Croatia, Croatia, it's a great Croatia. Come on, try to get hurry. Oh. Man, six and 45 seconds, give him a big round of applause, guys. You were cooking there, man. Excellent job. We got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you say? Charmin can be hard to catch, but I think you did a great job. That's why I'm giving you this portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this library of world music. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Put it right here, pal. Nice job. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger, felt up from Berlin down to Belize. She take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Maybe in the for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, let Carmen send her baddest thugs. We'll collect them just like bugs. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh.